Twice a month, your Westland City Council meets to conduct the business of the city. This involves approving bids and contracts, making zoning or ordinance changes, paying the bills, and all the other necessary things that make our city run smoothly. There is a lot that goes on behind the scenes prior to the meeting that the public isn't always aware of. The idea of this program is to share some of the information about the agenda items that didn't necessarily get explained during the meeting. So today, I will be discussing the actions of your West End City Council at the October 7th meeting. The consent calendar portion of the agenda is made up of items that are thought of as routine. The idea is that these items will most likely be approved without much discussion, and so, as a time saver, they are treated as one item. That is, unless a council member asks to move the item from the consent calendar onto the new business agenda for the purposes of discussion. That doesn't mean that these items are not important. There are several items that are very important to the safety and welfare of our citizens and employees, so I want to take a little bit of time to discuss them here. One of the items on our consent calendar was the approval of a new emergency siren system. This request came from Facilities Director Ali Awadi. He noted that our current system has been in operation for over 12 years and is very outdated. Replacing this obsolete system at the cost of just over $15,000 will help to ensure that we are able to keep our residents informed of emergencies should they arise. Another item that was approved without any discussion was the approval of a contract with Brain Media Technology. The City of Westland has partnered with this company since 2015 to manage the Jefferson Barnes Learning Lab. This program brings certified teachers as well as tutors and mentors to the Jefferson Barnes Community Vitality Center located in the historic Norway District. They provide weekly tutoring, homework help, computer literacy lessons, and a few special event classes throughout the year. This free tutoring service has helped hundreds of students over the life of the program, and we are very happy to see it continue. In this meeting, we had a couple of items requested to be removed from the consent calendar so that they could be discussed further. One of these was the acceptance of grant money from the Department of Labor and Economic Growth. The grant allows for nearly $277,000 to be spent on a second set of turnout gear for every firefighter that works for the City of Westland. Turnout gear is the specialized equipment that Westland's bravest wear when they are actively fighting fires. Having this second set of gear allows for one set to be properly washed after a fire run and still have the proper safety gear to wear should another call come in. This will help reduce the cancer risks that our firefighters face. This is a 100% grant funded expenditure with $0 coming directly from your taxpayer dollars here in Westland. And speaking of our Westland Fire Department, there was another agenda item that was submitted from Chief Darrell Stamper at this meeting. Your city council was being asked to approve a bid for the construction of a brand new state-of-the-art fire training structure. This facility will be on the site of the brand new Fire Station 2. This training structure will help to keep Westland's Bravest in top form to keep themselves and all of us safe. The approved bid comes from a company owned by a former firefighter who took his years of fire training fire departments to the next level by creating totally customizable and modular training buildings. This 2100 square foot facility will provide state of the art training for our employees as well as fire personnel from neighboring communities. This meeting also saw some appointments to the boards and commissions. Adam Goring was reappointed to the Zoning Board of Appeals for another term, and we thank him for his service. But we also saw some new appointments, including longtime volunteer Lakeisha Maxwell, who was appointed to the Economic Development Corporation and TIFA board, and 35-year Westland resident Timothy Bailey was appointed to a five-year term 
on the William P. Faust Public Library Board, and we thank you both for your willingness to serve and continue to serve our community. If you are interested in serving on a board or commission, you can visit our website at cityofwestland.com to learn more about what opportunities are available and how you can get involved. Finally, your Westland City Council approved some ARPA expenditures on a few different items on the agenda. Your City Council approved resolutions allocating $10,000 to each of the three worthwhile community programs. Money was awarded to the Westland Goodfellows, No Child Without a Christmas, the Norway Community Citizens Council Annual Fall Harvest Festival, and the Wayne Ford Civic League's Annual Veterans Thanksgiving Meal Program. These are all programs that serve our community in different ways and we're in need of assistance to continue. Your City Council is happy to support and approve funding for each one of them. These are just a few of the items that were before your West End City Council at the October 7th meeting. You can view the meeting in its entirety on WLND or on our YouTube channel. The next meeting of your City Council will be held on Monday, October 21st in the Council Chambers of Westland City Hall. You can view the agenda and all supporting materials prior to the meeting by going to our website. Again, it's at cityofwestland.com. Mayor Kevin Coleman will be here to go over some of the items that are on the agenda. Thank you for watching this episode of Westland in Focus and Go Tigers!